Hello, <clears throat> this is F Stop Quinnier here. Like most people, I went I went to AA the weekend. I had a very good time. Glad I went because being the last one, I've never been to AA before. And well, I wish I had gone before, but see, it's one of those things where you can't change that. But I'm going to show you off my haul of what I got at AA. Um, see what people think. Right, so it's got to do first. Right, first of all, if I go for what I picked up loose, first of all, I managed to pick up an Armada Megatron. Uh, it's got no missiles or or mini con, but the core robot is there, and it only cost me ten pounds. That I thought, since I couldn't see any other versions of it, I thought that was a good deal, ten pounds for that. So I got him. One of the other ones I got, I then. Picked up, get into frame, Energy on Megatron, which is one of those figures which, to truthful, I didn't know I wanted until I actually saw it. <laughs> that was, um, that's missing going his missiles as well, and that was 20 quid. That's not too bad. No, as you can see, it's a bit a big, big figure, and I quite like it, although I am not too sure where it's going to go on my shelves. Not in the slightest, no. It's a big one, and I have to do some serious rearranging, as I will do for the rest of them. Then, I managed to pick up... You can see it's animated Ultra Magnus. Um, the batteries still work. We must return the old spark to Cybertron. Yep, lights and sounds, they all work. That was... Um, how much was that? Oh, that was £35, yes. That was one of the f first ones I saw found because I was looking for more animated toys. This is the only one I found, but you know, I was really looking for an animated RC, but I couldn't see any there. So, one animated toy is better than none, I suppose. Excuse me. And then oh, I managed for £15 to pick up show this properly, uh, Magna Boss. The only thing he's missing is. Basic, basically the two parts that make up the sword. I've got the two white parts, just a bit in the middle that's missing, and I'm sure somehow I can pick that up if I find it somewhere. I'm sure if I look on eBay, I will find it. So I've got him as well. I was pleased about because one of the ones I sort of thought I might like ages ago. And I've looked a few times on eBay, but mm, no luck. So I'm glad, to, happy to pick that up for the price I did. Let's put that down there. As long as it doesn't fall over. Um, next things I got um, box stuff. I got the two um, convention exclusives, which well from the old convention exclusives anyway from the TFCon, which is Vanguardian and what's it called? This one's called Roswell, and they were only twenty pound each. I've talked about the box, I've built play of them. They are very good figures. I will find also somewhere else to display those because I don't have many third party toys so I thought I'd pick these up get myself a couple more um hold on what's next I picked up um that's it I picked up the masterpiece G2 version Bumblebee because that's one that's another one I wanted I couldn't see many of the uh, G1 versions but it's the same, same transformation, so I wasn't too fussed. Plus, he is a n nice, lovely, shiny gold colour. That will make me other masterpieces, stand out from the other masterpieces. Yep, very nice for what I pay for that. Next of all, I got... Finally found something I've been looking for for a long time. I managed to pick up Death's Head figure for only £10. Which is about the price you pay in the shops, maybe slightly more. So I was happy and lucky to find that, even though the one store I did see was charging £25 for it, which I thought I wasn't going to pay that. No, not £25, especially since I found it for 10 Yeah, What's next? What's next? What's next? Um, secondly, I'd like to thank Airlift82, Ian Piet, for selling me oh, G1 Megatron. I'll take it out and grab it properly with the light. I've had a little mess with that, 
So I transformed it once. That's very. It is very nice. Um, no, apart from a mouse mat, there is absolutely nothing missing. Um, the mouse mat I'm not too bothered about anyway. But all the little pellets are still on the sprues. Stickers are good. He's got his mace and the other parts, which obviously make up his gun barrel stock. So thank you, Ian, for that. That was very nice. Been another one I've been after for ages. To go my on the shelf. Oh, oops, what else did I get? Excuse me for behind. I managed to get. You can see all that. I've got the platinum edition cone heads. Oh, make me a second. Now I know the way the light is. You're not going to see. Not going to see them very, very well, are you? No, but I know if that's the best you can. But yeah, that was sixty pounds. So it's not too bad. It worked out twenty pounds a lot. So once again, we'll not complain about that. Then, um, oh yeah. I got hold of Combiner Wars Air Raid, so now I can take drag, drag I can take drag strip, strip, drag strip off, and replace him with him. So at least it's an all flying aerial bot, so it all matching up better. I don't know what I'm going to do with the Air Raid figure. I'll, I mean the Air Raid figure. I mean the drag strip figure. I will keep it um, if I ever manage to find any. Cheap enough any other pieces to make up Minsaw, I might do that, but no. And now that I've got this, I might actually pick up the um, perfect effect add on kit, the one for the with the head and chest, the one with the head and chest which goes on Minsaw. See how that looks. I've seen the video for that, it looks very nice. I'll just all have a notice for that later on. I um, won on the Tombola, well, somebody else won on the Tombola, my friend did, and since they already had one, they gave it to me. One of the Kabaya kits, which I think is, and I can never remember who it is. Dreadwind, is it? I think it's Dreadwind. Yeah, Dreadwind. Yeah, you know that, that little kit, which I will have a go at making up later. I will see how I feel. Well, I'll go later. Although, I will not be indulging in the bubblegum, because um, I don't know how long it's been in there for, so uh, best not, just be the safe side. <laughs> Don't want to get made myself ill. I got some. Whoops, hold on. He's fell all the way over there. I managed to get. Um, excuse me. A 2000 something. I can't remember when it came out. I, really, um, I think it's a spy changer. I could be wrong. I don't know exactly who it is. Unfortunately. I'm not too up on the. Uh, whoops. On the RAD line. God. If anybody knows, please tell me. Because I have the foggiest. But I picked him up cheap as well. I then will go into some prints. Ah, before going to the prints, and the store next to Tombala, they were selling some stuff from previous auto assemblies. So I picked up, you can read that, the Next of Kin CD single, Transform. I've not listened. I've heard the song, but I've not listened to the CD yet, so I don't know what the other three songs are like. But if there's anything like that to go by, they should be very good. And, 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 and what else have we got? Uh, we got, we got, we got. Mm. Print of Megatron from. I've forgotten the guy's name. I'm very sorry, I've forgotten the guy's name, but he proposed to his girlfriend at the very end of the convention. Um, she was very happy. Lots of people, well, I will say lots of people were very, were very um, misty eyed, I should say, by that one. That was something unexpected, and well, it's one of those things which I was actually very glad to be able there to witness. Not something you see every day. Somebody proposed to their girlfriend. Sorry, somebody proposed to their girlfriend on stage. Um, from Jim Thompson, I had a little talk with him. A very nice bloke. I managed to get. Let's see, probably. Uh, not so much a wet, but a print, a sort of weird out theme print. With obviously that guy being the main person, but some of his other voice acting work on there and some other references to. Bits and pieces he's done. I don't get all of them, but 
you know, the main ones I get. So that was pretty cool. I've been chatting with Jim Thompson, as I say. Found out he was a massive Red Dwarf fan. Which pleased me greatly because I myself am a big Red Dwarf fan, so I managed to talk to somebody else about Red Dwarf a bit. I got two, which were which some lady was giving giving away free. Somebody picked these up for me, but I, I don't know who the lady was, but you can't really see him properly. I'll try and move the base a bit, see if you can see. One of drift, and. Oops. Yeah, right. You really see I don't shine too much. And one one of Hot Lad. And I say those days were free, so I was glad to got those. I also and managed to have a chat with the wonderful Mr. Peter Spillas, who signed this for signed this for me. Um never met him before. I was told he was a thoroughly nice guy. Um thoroughly nice guy um doesn't do him justice. He is one of the most uh, lovable, warm-hearted people. Very welcoming, very talkative. Um, what can I say? Words can't describe how 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 brilliant he, how brilliant he was. You know, he listened to his Q and A at the end. You know, um, I'm sure most people look about it. It will be put on YouTube somewhere. And I mean, listen to listen to what he's did, what he's done. You know. Is an inspiration to everybody, I would say. Last but not least, I picked up some got some postcards. Some of the ones, the ones you got free of the pack, which were Chinese right, which is a Skybite one. Obviously signed by Peter Spillas. I do have a copy of this. This is, I think, this is somebody else's or my friends who forgot to pick it up off me but I do have a copy of this I think this is theirs we have the wheeljack well as you all know no point telling me who they are because I'm sure you know <laughs> who they are that one it's a pity I didn't actually join any of the queues to talk to James Horan or Summerlee I saw them on the stage they seemed like really nice people I would love to have gone and talked to them well, the queues were big, so I don't like standing in queues too much. There's that one. There's, see, there's that one. I love the humanized cosplay version of of of, of him. They did on the Saturday night. That was very good. And I, I've forgotten the name of the guy who. Dressed up as him, but he was good. The very nice, um, commemorative, I'll call it commemorative picture of Lenny Nimoy and Galvatron, which obviously Lenny Nimoy is sadly not with us anymore. And as a postcard, that is a very fitting tribute for us Transformers fans. I have, you worry, an Optimus Prime, and obviously, I have a Shockwave. That I think is all I picked. All I picked up at um at Auto Assembly. I would like to thank Six Chris Six Shop Perry for giving me the uh, read those labels for the Autobus signals. Thank you very much for that. I will find places to put those on. And and um, what else am I going to say? Um, although Auto Assembly is finished. Well, the convention is finished. Auto Assembly will live on through YouTube and other mediums. Um, there is the TF Nation next year, and I will start saving up to go to that. You know, I've never been to the first Auto Assembly, so I'll see if I can get to the first TF Nation. I'll see what that's like, and hopefully, if people from, from Auto Assembly this year go next year, I might hopefully get a chance to meet the ones I didn't get to meet. You know, we briefly had a brief talk or a quick handshake. I'd like to thank everybody I spoke to and shook hands with. You're all great. And they may get a chance to speak to you more. And um, that is it, really. I don't have anything else to say, apart from I'm very glad I'm, I went to AA, met some wonderful people, spoke to wonderful people. Um, ooh, there's something. 
was in the, it was quite quite nice. The first time I went to the Swords Bar and I walked in and saw the people sitting down playing with their toys. That was um, a moment when I thought, yep, I'm at auto assembly. But anyway, thank you for listening and I will hopefully do another video later. Thank you very much. Goodbye.